Hello Internet, welcome to an interesting video where I'll try to make sense out of Shannon Fano and Huffman coding. While we study Shannon Fano and Huffman coding, at times we really are not clear about the fact that why different messages of different code lengths are given different probabilities. So we'll try to study the system and the messages and the information contained in them, their lens, from a very, very uh, interesting perspective today. So if this is something that interests you, then keep watching. Now I'll talk about a system here. That system is generating some messages. Please understand these messages will not be equal in length and that is what makes this system a complicated system and the first thing that I'll attribute to this system is that it is complicated. Now by the meaning of complication it is assumed that the messages generated by the systems this system can be up to for example 3 bits now when this thing happens this system will generate a message that could be 1 bit long this system can generate a message that could be 2 bit long and this system can generate a message which could be 3 bit long so that is what makes the system complicated and at the same time the second attribute of the system is that it is random now if i combine these two attributes of the system then what will happen for example if we are we are standing at the output of the system and we are anticipating an output what could we anticipate we could anticipate a 1 bit message we could anticipate a 2 bit message we could anticipate a 3 bit message but the probability of these three kinds of messages is equally likely so the first the first distribution of probability is that uh, the message which is 1 bit has a probability of 1 by 3 and the message that may come out of this system at the output if it is a 2 bit message its probability is also 1 by 3 and similarly a 3 bit message coming out of the output also has a probability of 1 by 3 now if you if you can understand this distribution then it will make more sense that once a 1 by 3 probability is assigned to a 1 bit message then further there are only two kinds of 1 bit messages that are possible if you may appreciate the fact that only 0 and 1 are the two kinds of 1 bit messages that may come out of the system as 1 bit and they these two have a pretty high probability and they have a probability of 1 by 3 and similarly when it comes to 2 bit messages a 2 bit message coming out of the output has a probability 1 by 3 but the 2 bit messages themselves are double in number so we could get a 0 0 we could get a 0 1 we could get a 1 0 and a 1 1 and in case of 3 bit messages we could get a 0 0 0 0 0 1 0 1 0 1 0 0 1 0 1 1 1 0 and 1 1 1 So we'll get eight different messages. Uh, I'm missing out on uh, 
a message here which is 011 I guess. So these are the 8 messages that we can get if the message that comes out of the output is a 3 bit message. Now if you were to infer the probability, the overall probability, I'll talk about a term now which is overall probability. If we were to talk about the overall probability of a message at the output, we'll say that the probability of 0 and 1 at the output is the highest because if we further divide the probability of a 0 and 1 here, we have a half half probability and the net probability of a 1 bit message which is 0 is 1 by 2 into 1 by 3 and similarly 1 by 2 into 1 by 3 for 1. Now you can see that a probability of 1 by 6 which is the theoretical probability and the probability of 1 by 6 is assigned to 1 bit messages 0 and 1 which will be double this probability is double than what what would theoretically come out for a 2 bit uh, message because for a 2 bit message the individual probabilities will become 1 by 4 for every 2 bit message and when this 1 by 4 is multiplied by 1 by 3 uh, it becomes 1 by 12 for every 2 bit message and over here the individual probability of each message is 1 by 8 and when multiplied by 1 by 3 it gives us a probability of 1 by 24 <coughs> for each of these 3 bit messages. So all of them, all the 3 bit messages they get a probability of 1 by 24, all the 2 bit messages they get a probability of 1 by 12 and all the 1 bit messages they get a probability of 1 by 6. Now this is pretty understandable from a fair uh, perspective when the probability is distributed uh, evenly but that is not going to happen with the system because the system is random although standing at the output we might anticipate uh, is zero after every six messages we might anticipate a 0 1 after every 12 messages but that may not happen at all because the system is random the system may uh, you know if we take a sample space of 12 messages if the system was to generate 12 messages it it may not even send a single one bit message because the system is random and it is not answerable to anybody standing at the output so not only the system is complicated it it can send n number of bits it can send one bit message two bit message three bit message four bit message up to n bits it can send n bit messages at the output and on top of that the system is random too because it is not liable to answer to anybody standing at the output that the probabilities are equally distributed uh, so that is what makes uh, the systems for which we do Shannon Fano coding and Huffman coding uh, so very uh, complicated because if we now look at the questions that we get for Shannon Fano and Huffman coding uh, if, you, if you can remember that we used to get questions like this that x1 is one message which has a probability of 1 by 2 and x2 is another message which has a probability of 1 by 4 and x3 is a message which has a probability of 1 by 4 x4 is a message with a probability of 1 by 16 and x5 is a message with a probability of 1 by 32 x5 
6 is again message with probability of 1 by 32 and now now x1 being a message with the highest probability must be a message with with the smallest number of bits in it it could be a, a one bit code or a two bit code and x6 which has the lowest probability from this discussion we could predict that this x6 could be a lengthy message this x6 message which has a very very high probability it is attributed because of the fact that the lowest probability messages get a long code word length so one can easily predict that x1 which has the highest probability could be either a 0 or a 1 and x6 which has the lowest probability could be a code as big as for example 10110 it could be a 5 bit code but can we can we say this for sure can we say that x1 which has the highest probability is a 0 can we say this for sure that x1 which has the highest probability is a 1 no we cannot and similarly x6 which has the lowest probability is it a 6 bit code or a 5 bit code or a 7 bit code can we say anything for sure and let us say we get to a conclusion that x6 which has the lowest probability is a 5 bit code but out of those 5 bit code possibilities which code is that so all that unpredictabilities are taken care of by Shannon Fano and Huffman coding now if you remember when we do Shannon Fano and Huffman coding we we are only given the number of messages that we have and we are only given with their probabilities and then Shannon Fano and Huffman coding give you the code for each of these messages and uh, and while solving those two coding techniques you find that the message with the highest probability is usually a 1 bit or a 2 bit code and the message with the lowest probability is usually uh, is a 4 bit or a 5 bit code and the reason for that is discussed here the complication of the system and the randomness of the system uh, is uh, is the essence of evolution of these coding techniques the reason why these coding techniques are there because we need to find a concrete answer we need to get to a definitive answer and these coding techniques give us a definitive answer those answer are are subjective please understand those answers uh, are only the answers given by these coding techniques they are not definitive they are subjective but yes they they will follow the rules of probability they will follow uh, the rules of messages which are contained by the uh, the information which is contained by the messages uh, for different uh, probabilities and I hope this uh, tutorial uh, made sense on how Shannon Fano and Huffman, Huffman coding are of use to us and if you like the content of the video give it a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next one goodbye